Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna go step by step on how to purchase a California hunting license, as well as put in for your deer tags. Remember the state of California, you could get two uh, deer tags, whether you do uh, one lottery and one over the counter or two lottery, two over the counter, it's completely up to you. But I'm gonna show you some things you might wanna know before you apply for the lottery on, a, on whatever zone you want to, just so you have a, a good idea of your best chance of pulling a tag. So let's get to the computer and get right into it. We are on the home page for uh, the Fish and Wildlife Department for the State of California. So in case you're curious, the web the website URL is at the top of the screen. We're going to click on hunting because that's what we're doing. Going to go to deer. Okay, so before we get right into it, some things you want to know are the season dates. So right here, seasons and dates, you could click on it and it'll break it down by zone. And it, We'll bring up the season dates, all right? So you all, you obviously want to know the dates that you're going to be hunting, and um, this will give you an idea of where you can apply. That's important. Additionally, you could go to uh, an area specific. So for myself, I hunt A22 typically down here, so it'll give me the dates for them. Either sex, boom, boom. All right, zones and hunts. So the way they break this down is quite nice, and you'll see a little later in the video when you apply for your deer zone, it it is the same code number if you will as the zone unlike elk and other animals or species so i already had this uh, loaded previously so here are the deer zones in california don't worry about the 2022 they don't change much and um when this does come out in the big game digest which you briefly just saw you'll see this stuff on the right the actual dates as well but these are your deer zones in california so for myself down here in San Diego, I'm all the way D16. I do hunt D12 and D19 occasionally, and I might be hunting a A zone south this year. So when you're getting ready to apply, you could also have this up in the dates. You obviously wanna do a little bit of research before you actually uh, hit the purchase button. Just make sure you're applying for the correct zone and the dates are open and that works with your schedule. But this is what the state of California looks like for hunting zones for deer specifically elk pronghorn and um, sheep are a little bit different all right so going back into here as i was saying um you, you want to know the rules and regulations obviously oh sorry additionally if you want a little bit more information on whichever zone you're hunting if you hit this pdf button it'll give you a breakdown of the zone specifically like gives you like the harvest reporting well not the harvest reporting it gives you the um the health of the herd, it gives you what kind of tag it is, it gives you camping sites, it gives you all this great information. So if this is your first time or first few years hunting and you never knew about this, this is an absolutely great resource to uh, get into. Okay, um, additionally, you wanna know your rules and regulations, naturally. You wanna look at the Big Game Hunter Digest right here, and this will give you this the stats for uh, the zones and the harvest reports from last year. So I preloaded this for us because I'm working off my uh, telephone hotspot right now because the hotel in doesn't have the greatest Wi-Fi. So this is the 2023 Big Game Hunting Digest. Um, naturally, you want to you know read this in, read this in its entirety for hunts that pertain to you. So I have some notes written down here, so we're just going to skip to those pages. So page number five right here is our hunting um, fees, if you will. Go ahead and take a look at that. But it's page five yet again in the Big Game Hunting Digest. You got uh, residents are $58, non-residents 204, so on and so forth. Okay, um, you always wanna read the uh, what's new. So let me figure out the page real quick. So what's new, page seven. This is just a good idea because they do change things every once in a while. For example, these premium hunts down here, the deer tag classification changes. This is definitely something you wanna keep in mind uh, applying for a new season. Not much changes, but things do change. So always take a read. So if you go to page 24 in here, it's gonna bring you to your our stats page, all right? So before applying for a um, uh, or before applying for a quota or a I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you, this is a good page to look at just so you can see. So if we're looking at the X zones, which historically well, I can't say all X zones, but most of the X zones have some of the bigger populations. Actually, if you scroll, if you scroll up to the 20s, it'll tell you uh, the point size per zone as well. This goes just all the way up. Like here, are the X zones. Boom, boom, boom. But this will give you an idea of how many uh, tags are per zone. So this tag, so D14 tag quota was uh, 3,000. Uh, the highest preference uh, point holder, California, we're, we're a true preference point system, uh, went to the first 2,700 that applied, and then 300 were at random draw. Okay, this one is uh, X5A was 75, 68, 7 were random draw. 
Okay, so these are just some things you want to uh, look at before actually applying. And then you see the random uh, drawings um, columns on the right side. And then you want to go to your season dates. That's also in here. We kind of covered it in the other one real quick. But if you come here, it just gives you, um, I guess, more information. Okay, now that we have these few little things talked about, we're going to actually go in and apply just so I could show you how that process works. So I've already preloaded this, but you're going to go into the login page right here at the top of your screen. You're going to click that. You're going to sign in. It's going to bring you here. So you're going to go to purchase license. Yet again, please uh, bear with me and the Wi-Fi at this hotel. You're going to go to hunting because that's what we're doing. I'm going to be applying for my resident hunting. I'm a resident of California, as previously stated. Acknowledge. This is the non-lead ammunition. Okay, and now we're going to get into purchasing our tags. So all you're going to do is going to keep uh, scrolling down. So my first res right here, I'm going to click add. It's only 38 bucks. I don't know why it's 38 bucks. I thought it was more. Oh, the license was 50. Okay, um, you could apply for a party or not. It's really up to you. I just apply by myself uh, since I am a resident. All right, so here on the right um, are your zones as we talked about with this. Uh, sorry, this one, which align to these zones. Okay, so as you'll see back here, you know, X2, go to X2, and you'll see X2 is right up here. So that's the zone you'll be hunting, and then the dates are on the right. These dates are pretty, uh, are two degree the same as this here. Okay, so I'm going to be applying for an AO tag, um, which is archery only down here. So what the archery only tag does, it gives you access to the uh, A, D, and B zones. So with my AO tag, I can hunt all these A zones, A North, A South, I could hunt all the Bs and I could hunt all the Ds just with an AO tag over the counter archery only tag. So archery only. So that's what I'm applying for. And at the moment, I'm only going to be applying for one because um, I have some things in the future that is going to mess up my hunting season. And then the good thing about it, since it's over the counter, if I do harvest a deer quite early, I could come in and apply for another one. Okay, hitting submit. It's not a draw unit first. Well, I don't want to draw a unit. Okay. Maybe I have to go back. Bear with me. All right. Sorry about that. I got, I was looking at the wrong ones. I was looking at the drawing, but I'm not doing a drawing. I'm doing it over the counter like I was explaining. So you just scroll down a little bit. Tags right here. You're going to hit add. Uh, you're going to type in your over the counter one, non, uh, non entry. Okay, read that if you like, submit. So one thing I also like to do, I also like to buy the Game Warden tag, which is right here, 2023 Warren Stamps. I got last year's. This is gonna keep it going for whatever reason. I like this sticker, it's kinda cool. Hit accept, yes. Then you're gonna go to checkout. Right here, so hunting license, 5858. First year tag is only $38 for residents and Warren Stamp five, total 102. You hit checkout. You come in here, you finish the process, you type in your credit card and you're good to go and it'll be mailed to you. So that's pretty much the gist on the little bit of research you want to do before putting in your tags for the state of California and like which areas to apply for. Make sure you check the dates and make sure they work with your schedule, that's big. Um, you can return tags in the state of California, but I think they keep your license fee. But quick interruption, as I was editing this video, I realized that California is non-refundable. All sales are final. So prior to you hitting that uh, final purchase button, just verify everything, make sure your dates are good and your zones are good and all that. But that's all you guys. If you have any additional questions, please drop them in the comments. And if you like these kind of videos, please drop a like. I truly appreciate it. And we'll have plenty more videos like this coming out soon. Until next time, uh, happy soon to be hunting. See you soon.